All right, our next assessment is going to be a straight leg raise. So what we're going to assess is the flexibility in your hamstring muscles. So the first thing I'm going to want you to do is I want you to sit with your butt on this table and just slide all the way back so that your heels are on the edge of the table. I'm going to be next to you to make sure nothing happens as you lay back. But I want you to lay back. You can hold on to the side of the tables for security if you need. And just lie flat on the table. I want your palms to be facing down. I want your hips and your low back to stay pressed into the table throughout the entire assessment. Okay. Once you're ready, I'm going to have you raise your right leg with your knee fully locked up. Okay. So I want you to pretend you're trying to get your toes to touch your forehead. But I want this knee to stay locked up the whole time. Okay? I'm going to make sure that your opposite leg stays on the table in contact. So I might have you raise or lower your leg in order to make that happen. Okay? Once we have the leg that's being tested in the position we like, I'm going to take a measurement with my goniometer. So I'm going to ask you to hold it for a second or two. And then I'm going to have you relax. Once you relax, we're going to switch to the other side and we'll do the same exact thing. When you're done, I'm going to help you up and get you out of the table. Okay, so go ahead and have a seat on the table. Because you're tall, we're going to make sure that your head doesn't fly all the way off the end of the table, okay? So we're just going to take a little bit of time, make sure you're good. Perfect. Your heels are on the bench, your head is on the bench. Now do me a favor and press your low back and your hips into the table for me. Awesome. When you're ready, go ahead and keep your right knee locked and just raise your right knee as high as you can. Great. Hold that position for me. Great, go ahead and relax, and let's take a measurement on the other side. Great, I'm just going to have you move this arm for me so I can make sure I can get my measurement. Okay, great, relax. Let's go ahead and stand up. You're all set. Thank you. Thank you. The next assessment we're going to do is straight leg raise. So we're going to be assessing the flexibility of the hamstring muscles. The first part of this is that we need to demonstrate for the individual how to lay on the table and proper body position. So I'm going to instruct my client to lie flat on their back with their legs and their head fully on the table. Once they're in that position, I want them to lock out their knee and rise, raise their leg as high as they can, keeping the opposite leg down. At that point, I'll take a measurement and then we'll switch legs. You're going to want to help your client up off the bench as well. And a few really important things is, are making sure the client's in a proper position. Our client is pretty tall, so he's going to give us a couple great examples of what to do and what not to do. So first I'm going to have my client lie down on the bench, and we're going to put him into an improper position. First, we don't want their legs hanging off the end of the bench. So we want to make sure that we have them slide all the way up onto the training table into a proper position, as you see here. Another common mistake is having them, somebody as an example, this gentleman, lying too far off the bench so his head's hanging down. So we want to actually navigate our client into the proper position. Once they're in this proper position, we're going to cue them to raise their right leg with their knee extended. We're going to want to make sure that our client has their knee in full extension. At that point, we want them to flex at the hip Bring in their toes to their head. At a certain point, you'll notice that the opposite leg that is not being tested may come up off the bench. If that's the case, just simply ask your client to lower their leg a little bit and you'll see the opposite leg comes back down. Once the leg being tested, the knee is in full extension, the opposite leg down is in full extension and rested against the table, that's where you'll take your measurement with the goniometer. Once you have that measurement, you'll have them lower their leg and you'll test the opposite side. So again, a few fallacies. Maybe there's some flexion in the knee and you take that angle. That flexion is helping to take some of the uncomfortableness out of the hamstring group. So we want to make sure that we get that full extension even if they have to lower. Another common mistake is taking a measurement with this opposite leg up off the table. So again, you want to ensure that this leg stays down. You may have to physically keep it down for them. And one last fallacy is taking the measurement with the goniometer. You may need to move this arm out of the way to get a proper measurement and to make sure the stable arm of the goniometer is in line with the torso.